Hey guys, in this lesson, we want to implement the dashboard page. So after this lesson, after clicking on the user's name here, you will be redirected to this page that based on you are an admin user or not, you will see different number of items here. So let's get into the code. Okay, here, first of all, I want to add the icons of items. You can use any icons you want, or you can use my icons in the comment link in the description below. Here in the front end, right click on the public folder and create a new folder with the name of icons and copy the icons that you downloaded and put it inside it currently we just have only four icons foods orders profile and users now that we have the icons we can create the component so it's a separate page so we need to go to the pages right click on it and create a new folder with the name of dashboard then right click on it and create a new file with the name of dashboard.js then again create another one the name of dashboard.module.css come back to the dashboard.js write rfc press enter for creating the functional component now go to the router approutes.js scroll down duplicate the last one that has this auth route change its address to dashboard and its component to dashboard okay it is added to the app routes now i want to add this link into the header instead of the profile when we click on the profile name so copy it from the explorer components header header.js that is our header component here as you can see we have a link to the profile it contains the username i want to change it to dashboard now if we go to the browser and click on the username at the top we will see this dashboard here it means the dashboard component is ready for adding the items inside it so let's do it let's close the app routes and headers and come back to the dashboard js here if the user is admin we want to show all items but if the user is not admin we want to show only profile and orders that the normal user could have access to so we need the user so write const user is equal to user auth okay we want to get the user from the user authentication hook now we can go to the render part set the div class name to classes container obviously we didn't add classes here import classes from dashboard.module.css okay remove the dashboard add another div with the class name of classes.menu for the menu items, I need a list that is better to come from the server. But because for the moment my list is completely static, I want to write it here as a JavaScript array. So here at the bottom of the component, write const all items equal to an array that has these items. Okay, we want to show four buttons. So we have four objects here inside this array. Each one of them have a title, image URL, URL, BG color, and color. We have orders, profile, users, and foods. So now let's come back to the top here inside the menu. Let's use these items. So open up curly braces and write all items dot filter. As I told you, based on the user is admin or not, we need to do filtering or show all the items. For doing this, we need to write item and we write user dot is admin or if the item dot for admin. It seems to be a little bit complex, but it's very easy. Here we are going to say if the user is admin, it will return everything because there is an or and if one side of the or be true the result will be true so if the user is admin for all four items the result will be true but if the user is not admin so where this is false the items that is not for admin will be shown pretty simple now we need to map them okay every single item should be mapped into a link that's coming from react router dom imported it should go to item.url it's a style should be equal to an object that is background color is equal to item dot background color and its color is equal to item dot color let's close it save it so it comes down okay the link attributes are ready let's go inside it and add the image img src item dot image url and set its alternative text to item.title and for its title i want to add an h2 with the text of item.title now if we go to the browser we are going to see some weird looking giant icons that we need to fix inside the css let's just start with the container 
that is margin to auto, margin top to 1 RAM, max width to 70 RAM and width to 100%. For the menu, we need to set its display to flex and it's justify content to center so it will be centered horizontally and flex wrap to wrap so if the screen size is small, the menu items go down. Now let's add the styles for the link or the A tag. Everything here is obvious. I just gave the menu items a little bit of box shadow to give them a little bit of depth. Even if now we look at the browser, we see the icons are not in the good size. Let's select them and make them smaller. Okay, width of 10 RAM, height of 10 RAM. So there will be a square inside the menu item and margin of one RAM from all sides. The next thing that I want to work on is the hover effect. I want to change the box shadow based on the mouse hover. So now if we look at it, if we hover over them, we'll see a beautiful box shadow. And the last thing that I want to work on is the edge too inside the menu so we'll increase the phone size and we'll give it a margin right so it's going to have a little bit of space from this side but there is a problem the background colors are not right because i gave them background oh bg color not background color i used background color here so i need to change it to bg color now if we come back to the browser we'll see that they have their beautiful background colors let's click on the profile here okay it works orders it works but these two are not going to work because we are going to implement them on the next lessons we're going to start with the foods admin page so we can add remove and update the foods on that page you've been watching code with nasir and i hope to see you next time